What is good, right? Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set review, and this is one half of the brand new ringside exclusive from the Vault Series Number no. 2 WWE Elite Collection. And this half of the review today is going to be on Diesel, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, and Shawn Michael. Now, if you guys are unaware about the From the Vault series, what it is is basically highly sought after WWE figures from the past by Mattel in the Elite line, whether it be mainline, exclusives, sublines, they're being re released with updated joints, updated Mattel WWE. WWE action figure quality, double jointed arms, true effects head sculpts, interchangeable hands that maybe they previously didn't have in the past, and they're re-releasing them to us in the public to capitalize on that secondary market value. Now, it makes a lot of sense. We all, you know, you love it, you hate it. I think it's a pretty damn good idea. I think it's genius. I just don't think we need 762 re-release waves like we're seeing nowadays with Mattel. Nonetheless, man, we are getting into our second wave from the vault. We have Diesel, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, Shawn Michaels, all four quality selections, I think, as we dive into it, but if you guys want to grab these can do so over ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent but it should be a good review man let's dive into this packaging it has very much old school vibes early on 2010 mattel mixed with a modern day flair it does have that smaller compact packaging we do have the diesel figure here which i do believe was an elite 16 figure originally i could be wrong there but he comes with a world tag title he comes with a wwf championship pretty cool inclusion right here not my favorite of all time but i do love this packaging and it's a pretty stacked wave we've got a lot of cool figures going on tomorrow we will be reviewing the remaining figures that we don't cover here today. So that should be fun. But I felt like all four of these guys kind of tie in together, right? You have your, you know, your DX kind of feel. And then you have the Shawn Michaels that compare with the Diesel. So it's, you know, it kind of comes full circle there. But we do have a Road Dog right here featuring a World Tag Team Championship as well. This was formerly known as the Hall of Champions Target Exclusive Road Dog. The next one we have is Billy Gunn, who is also a Target Exclusive Hall of Champions action figure. I bought these two figures on the aftermarket at a random second chance store. It's like an action figure. It's a it's a toy store. It's a random toy store. I bought both of these on a toy hunt one time and I think I paid 55 or 60 bucks a piece for these loose without any accessories, I think. It may have had the hat. I think Road Dog came with a hat, but I did not get any other part of it. So yeah, I mean, I paid a pretty penny for these guys loose not too long ago. I want to say it was a year and a half ago or something like that that I got those and now they are back and better than ever like Eric Bischoff, man. But the, the best figure in this wave potentially I think could be the Shawn Michaels. It is formerly known as a ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels Elite, but they did fix up some stuff. They changed the head sculpt to an Ultimate Edition head sculpt, which we'll get into, but I really dig this wave. I think we got some good stuff going on. You'll also notice that every single figure is coming with tag gold. Look at this right here. Not tag gold, but some gold. Look at these championships. So in this video, there's three tag titles and two world championships. Is, is, is that not nutty? I think that's insanity, but nonetheless, what we're going to do is crack these guys out of the packaging, man. Find out what they're all about. See how they compare to their OG figures, which I do have, except for this guy, maybe. I don't know. Nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, crack them out of the packaging, find out what this half of From the Vault Series 2 is about, and dive into it. So here is from the Vault Series number two, Diesel, HBK, Road Dog, and Billy Gunn out of the packaging. And I like all these figures. I liked them originally, really. I mean, I, I really can say that I like all these figures. Did they need a re-release? I think all of them really had a, a pretty high secondary market value. I've talked about the Billy Gunn and Road Dog. The HBK, the DX Shawn Michaels, definitely. I know a lot of people were excited to see that one re-released. And then the Diesel, I know back in the day it had a pretty heavy value. I know a lot of people wanted it, but then we did get a few different Diesels. We had the Ultimate Edition, and I think it did kind of bring that one down but at the end of the day it's not a bad from the vault series and we're going to dive into it now series three can't really say the same thing at least on a couple of those figures but nonetheless man let's dive into each figure's accessories and the figure itself take a look at some comparisons and get the hell out so for diesel's accessories we do get a lot of stuff here really i think every figure in this set really comes with a lot of accessories if you really want to say so but the first accessory we have is the entrance vest you have these little orbs going on you have like these little you can see i mean look at the look at the details going on right here, man. You have the tassels coming down, little orb studs on there. On the back, you have the same. Kind of reminds me of a cowboy or something like that. Have the fringe going down. Pretty nice. Not nothing we haven't seen before, but it's a nice little entrance vest for your diesel figure there. I think they did a good job here, and it doesn't hinder articulation, so that's always a bonus. And we also get a World Tag Team Championship, which is going to be very nice. I think a lot of people enjoy this championship. It's always one of my favorite tag des designs ever, but we've seen this so much from Mattel, but you do get World Tag Titles. There's no figure in this entire set that doesn't come with championships, but diesel comes with two, so you do get 
a world tag title and you get the WWF title. So you get the winged eagle here that looks very nice. I, I like it a lot. I think they do need to redo it similar to the, you know, the world heavyweight big gold. I think we need to get a better version in here with thinner plates, but both these ship ships look good. I like the gold on them. They shine nice and they look nice. And then outside of that, you do get a pair of fisted hands. The right hand is a gloved hand with a black peg. So that's nice. And then we get a pair of mic holding hands that also have a featured right gloved hand with a black peg. So that's the only pair of interchangeable hands you get. Fists and mic holding hands. So for Diesel at the top of the head sculpt, not my favorite of all time. It doesn't really even look like true effects are applied, which is the best, biggest deal of all time. We do have the Ultimate Edition. You could probably pop some head sculpts on, but I would even say the Network Spotlight head sculpt was better than this. I'm not really feeling this one that much. It does look like Kevin Nash. It's just very cartoony to me, but it does have the black flowing hair. It does have the Diesel singlet in the white or off-white gray silver looking color here. Jacked arms, all the tattoos you could like. I still think that the torso they use for him and Kane and different guys like singlet like this is too small to be honest but you do have a nice back sh but going down into the pants you do get the you know the the tassels on the side you get the gloved hand black wrist tape nothing crazy and he's not on pinless joints so that's good but the pants look good all the wrinkles and everything and then you go all the way down here and he does just have standard black boots it's not anything really just earth shattering and the figure doesn't feel terrible i think that it's very tight like the ab crunch is nice the waist swivel is very tight as well and i mean essentially it, it's a solid little figure you know all of the joints are very very tight i think that his kick forward is really good all things considered look at that right there man i mean how are you gonna fight that that's a buttery smooth leg right there other side too this may be my best feeling figure in hand the split's not the best of all time but it's better than anything else i'm seeing and the double jointed knee is nice you want to know why it's nice because it's not dull it's not pinless that's why it's nice i mean we all didn't we know i feel like we we kind of all you know we considered the fact that it probably is because they're not pinless but as far as your diesel figure comparisons are concerned Concern. We do have our Ultimate Edition Diesel on the left from the Crowdfunder New Gen Arena, and then we do have our Network Spotlight Big Daddy Cool Diesel over there as well. And, I don't know, this is like my least favorite of the three, to be honest. I, I really, I don't have any purpose for this figure. I just don't think, I don't think it aged very well. I think the Ultimate's the way to go. I would buy the Ultimate 20 times over before I bought this one, but it's not bad or anything. I just, I don't know, it doesn't move the needle that much for me personally. And again, man, a bit of accessories here with our Road Dog figure, a formerly Hall of Champions Road Dog. But one thing that's cool about this figure is it does come with a cloth good shirt, DX shirt here that is stretchy and non-Velcro. How nice is that? And you'll see it does have the white underneath, which should help with the staining. Not saying it won't stain at all, but I haven't seen any issues with it. But this is the classic DX shirt right here. And I like this a lot. Anytime we get cloth goods with no Velcro, sign me the hell up. I never complain about cloth goods, Brad. Now, just like Diesel, we get a World Tag Team Championship. And again, it's the same thing. You're getting the exact same look here. Nothing to insanity, but it is a nice accessory to pair right here. And I just love that they threw in a title with every single figure in the set. And then we also get the signature DX hat visor, which is nice. It goes over his hair and it has that classic DX logo, just like we saw on the t-shirt. So it does match. And we did see this on the last Hall of Champions Road Dog as well. He also comes with a microphone with a scratch WWE logo on there, which is cool as well. I feel like we're getting a lot more microphones nowadays. Maybe that's just in my brain or maybe just in the last few reviews, I've seen a lot of mics, but this is pretty good, you know, and they always appreciate a microphone. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get a pair of fists with your Road Dog to beat the hell out of people. You get a pair of mic holding hands so you can hold the microphone that he came with. And these are always universal for great things for our figures. And they even gave him the newly sculpted Ricochet Kawhi Leonard Johnny Gargano entrance handshaking style hands. So that he can, you can slap, you can handshake, you can entrance, you can do all those different things with these. Next up is Road Dog, And I really don't like this head sculpt. It is very similar to the last go round. But they just don't capture the likeness as much. I feel like this just doesn't have the right colorations or something. Something is off about this figure in general. So I don't, I don't know what's going on in the head sculpt to be honest i think it looks like him i just think that they could have done a better job in other areas and we'll get into the you know the fa actually you know what let's just bring him in right now let's bring him in right now you see what i'm saying i just feel like this one on the left looks better to me i know he's looking off to the left a little hair but look at the facial hair it's like too dark the eyes are a little dark i don't know i just like the the, the hall of champions head sculpt better and on this one he doesn't have the sculpted on torso he has the daniel bryan torso so that's another reason why hall of champions figure may have been better but you do get that cloth good shirt you get double jointed arms over here. All of his tattoos look pretty good there. You guys will notice, look at that right there. He has a very loose ab crunch, which we'll get into, but all his tattoos look nice. No wrist tape or anything. He does have the Kenny Omega sort of baggy style pants, which are nice. The silver and black and white designs look very good on the sides. I, I like the, the figure from the crotch piece down. It's just uh, everything else about this figure I don't like. You have the kick pads in there. No pinless joints. I don't think any figure in this set actually has pinless joints, so that's good. Honestly, one of my biggest gripes with this figure is this right here. Look at that right there, dude. 
very, very loose ab crunch and waist, which is very unfortunate. I don't know if yours would be like that, but everything else feels pretty good for the most part. Ah, legs are a little, I don't know. Everything on this figure just feels a little bit out of sorts. Like it, it doesn't really, it doesn't want to hold position. It falls forward easily right there. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I think the Hall of Champions may trump this figure. Like, look at that right there, man. That is pretty dreadful how it keeps falling over. I do not like that, but as far as comparisons are concerned, this is the Hall of Champions right here, and you can just see how much better this looks to me personally, even though, again, I do like the shirts, so you kind of have to pick your poison there. I think this looks a little bit more uniform and everything, but this is your comparison. I mean, obviously, this one's going to be a lot tighter in the joint area and stuff, but this one over here, it isn't bad. It's just, it doesn't feel compact. It doesn't feel like these other things, and low-key, I wish that he came with black wrist tape. I think the black wrist tape kind of adds an element to it that this one doesn't have, and I know that Legends figure, I think the Legends figure had, no, it didn't. The Legends figure didn't have wrist tape, so it's like they kind of combined the old Hall of Champions with the Legends figure, the recent, you know, DX Army one. They kind of combine those figures together to kind of give you this From the Vault series one. I, I don't know, man. I'm not, I don't like this as a From the Vault series the more I think about it. And on the other half of our DX tag team, we do have Billy Gunn and his accessories. And just like Road Dogg, he essentially comes with the exact same stuff, but instead of a hat, he comes with headbands. So again, you're getting the exact same shirt, no Velcro, always nice. They're including pretty much the exact same accessories. Except mine has some schmutz on it, but it's not even schmutz. It's a loose thread. And I pulled on it and it made it bigger. So I'm going to leave it the hell alone. Again, also comes with the World Tag Team Championship. Seen a shish ton of these already in the review. Another microphone, of course, with the Scratch WWE logo to go with the Road Dog. And then we also get these headbands. So you get this black headband that's tied in the front, which is very nice. It kind of clips onto the head. Not too crazy. I'll put it on there when we take a look at the figure itself. But he comes with an interchangeable one that has the DX logo. So you also get the interchangeable headband that also has the DX logo. So you get kind of the... It's like basically the front-facing bandana and then the back-facing bandana with a tie on the back. So you get the green X in there. It's pretty cool. I like these. And then for interchangeable hands, he comes with the exact same hands Road Dog does with fists, signature mic holding hands, and the same Johnny Gargano entrance handshaking Kawhi Leonard ricochet style hands. And then we move on to badass Billy Gunn over here, man. And he has the headband on there. It looks very good, I think, in terms of the DX logo and everything. And this head sculpt's not bad. I don't despise this head sculpt. It's very similar to the one that came in the Hall of Champions, if not the exact one. I low-key, I don't know, I kind of like the Hall of Champions one better. It kind of has a better likeness. Something about the eyes look off or something, man. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Road Dog situation. I think the older version looks better in this, in this case. Obviously, you are getting double jointed arms and all that stuff but and everything else is pretty much the same i would like to see you know the mr ass logo on there but i don't know it's a it's a nice figure because of the you know the colorations and the pink and stuff but i don't know i, uh, I like the head sculpt on the older version i think we do have that mizdow style torso regular arms i think they could have used the bigger arms to be honest you know the sort of the la night mold or something like that i think could have worked because he was so jacked man but the pink tights look good i like the lips on the back there you have the open pink knee pads you have the black knee wraps on the back and then you you do get the ba over here it's just you get the BG over there. And I know they're not going to put badass or anything on there, but you do have these Ziggler style boots with the DX logos. And I just think that this figure overall, it just feels really, really solid. And, you know, you get a good ab crunch and waist swivel. All the arms feel tight. You're getting that double joint in there, upper thigh cut. Just very smooth. And again, it's because it's not pinless. I'm telling you, if it was pinless, these figures would be stiff as hell. And you could throw them up against bricks and it would shatter the whole brick in half. But in terms of your figure comparisons, you can bring on the old old version and I still like this head sculpt better. It just has a better likeness and natural look. But again, you're getting double jointed arms. And that's that's what it is. And you get a lot more accessories. And a lot of people missed out on this version. So I do get it. It's just, I wish that the head sculpt looked as good as this. This looks really good for a Billy Gunn head sculpt. Especially given how old it is. Even though it's not that old, it's still... You know, when you look at those earlier Mattel head sculpts, you can see the, the flaws. There were some bangers back in the day too. Even Jax had some banger head sculpts too. And last but not least, we do have Shawn Michaels accessories. Now, he comes with pretty much everything that the last one came with. But... I don't think the last one came with the championship. Now, for this entrance gear, I really love the green color. I don't know. Something about the matteness with the chain and everything just looks really, really clean. I like it a lot. And it, of course, doesn't hinder any articulation. I mean, when you do clasp it, I guess he can't ab crunch that well, but it doesn't hinder anything else. I really like this. It just looks very, very clean. I love the green color. There's something about it. Whoever made this killed it. I like this. You're getting a ton of sculpts and buckles and just different details in here, man. And then you bring in the leg coverings that do clasp onto the figure, which I'll try to do in the photography segment. 
I just don't like these rubber things, man. Uh, great sculpt, great colors and everything. I just do not like the rubberation of it. The rubberation, I don't even know if that's a, even a word, but you clasp it around. It's very old school Mattel. I just hate it. It, it just doesn't do anything for me. I want to throw it the hell out in the yard. But then we are getting another WWF title like we saw with Diesel, so that's nice. So you get two WWF championships and three world tag titles in this review. And then for his interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands with the black forearm shivers or tape hands, and he does have black pegs. He also comes with interchangeable fists to beat the hell out of people as well with the black peg. And he too also comes with the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard, Johnny Gargano, newly sculpted, handshaking, interchangeable hands. And last but not least, we do have our formerly known DX ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels. Now, again, a ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels, but they are using the fan takeover head sculpt or ultimate edition head sculpt, or it was the other version, but the sculpt looks very good. It's got the hair tie in the back. I think this is the first ultimate edition Shawn head sculpt with the screaming expression. I never really liked this head sculpt. I think every head sculpt in this set so far has been a miss for me. I just never really liked the yelling one as much. It doesn't have that much likeness. I would have preferred a 5 o'clock shadow or even the WrestleMania 30 or, you know, the greatest hit Shawn Michaels head sculpt. We'll show it when we get into the comparisons. I'll show off what head sculpt they should have used. Actually, you know what? Let, F it. Let's just get into it right now. This is the head sculpt they should have used. I like this head sculpt a lot. This is my favorite Sean head sculpt, and I even took my extra head sculpt like this and painted the tassels or the, the you know, the little hair bands. I painted those green to match my HBK here. I think this just looks so much better to me personally. And I, I don't know, this just is a phenomenal head sculpt for Sean to me, you know, at least at this juncture. And I don't hate this head sculpt, it's just not my favorite. I really do like the different Ultimate Sean's we've got, and I still haven't got my damn SDCC one yet. Jeez, I want that figure, but sorry to go off on a tangent. We have the Daniel Bryan torso, which I don't think really works good for him. I think, again, even the Terry Funk torso would look better. I think the Mizdow torso would possibly look better. The Seth Rollins torso would probably look better. I just, I don't hate this figure, this this torso for Sean. I just don't like it that much. But the chest hair and stomach hair do add an element. You do have regular standard arms. He's got the DX armbands, hands, you know, wrist tape style deal. He's got his tattoo there. Got HBK on the butt. And one thing I am noticing, I think on the back of this one, it was, okay, it was silver as well. For some reason, it looked white. It may have just been a glare. But you are getting the DX Heartbreaks, which look very clean. A very good gear. I wish it came with knee pads, but not going to, you know, be a be a beggar right there. But this, this yeah, these tights are nice. I do like these tights. And then uh, they never give him the right boots. The boots aren't accurate. He didn't have really kick pads on at this time. Never really wore kick pads, honestly. There was a time and moment, but not really. But also, yeah. In terms of articulation, you are going to get a pretty decent kick forward right there. It's pretty buttery smooth. I have found that the splits have been kind of tight on this figure, which you'll want to be careful with, you know, when you're doing your sweet chin musics and your different things like that definitely be careful but i don't know man just look at these head sculpt differences right here i just think this head sculpt looks a lot better and again not that this one is bad i just think that a little bit more paint detail on the head and different stuff would add a lot to this figure but I don't hate it by any means. I like it. It was a great inclusion. A lot of people have been wanting this DX Sean redone, especially with double jointed arms. I think people are going to be excited about the Shawn Michaels, and I'm glad to have it in the collection, but I think that they should have chose a different head sculpt. Even though I'm glad they didn't repeat the same exact one the original figure came with, that one's also outdated. Just would have preferred a different one. All right, man, before we get out of here, I do want to rank these figures from worst to best, or my personal least favorite to favorite, or whatever you want to say. And again, in the Series 2, or the next set, when we do the other half of the set, We'll rank the full wave together, so come back for that so you can see us rank every single figure in the set from worst to best. But let's get into it, man. Starting out at the bottom, I do have the Road Dog. I mean, my God, I do not like this figure the more I pose it around. Very loose and crap. I mean, that right there is just awful. Even if it didn't have that issue, I think I like the original Hall of Champions figure better than this in a lot of ways. Head sculpt. I like the black wrist tape. I like the torso, you know, the sculpted on torso. Even though, you know, we do get cloth goods, I think it's a bit baggy, really. I don't know. It just doesn't, I don't know. It's just, it's just not hitting for me, man. It's not hitting for me. But let's move on to the next figure. I'm going with the diesel. The diesel came in at third because I think that the head sculpt's kind of stinky. I don't like it. It's kind of a stinker. I don't really care for it that much. So I did put diesel at my number three figure. In terms of two and one, it's very close and it really could change given the day. Oh man, this one's tough. But if I had to pick one, one of the figures, I think I would go with the Shawn Michaels. I think I'd rather have the Shawn Michaels with the double jointed arms. This is how I'd rank it right here. And I really like that Billy Gunn, but I think the original head sculpt was better and stuff like that. Even though, you know, I don't know. I don't know. These two could change on any given moment, but I think for right now, this is what I want to roll with. But that is pretty much going to wrap up from the Vault Series number two on the one half of the set. We do have the other half tomorrow. I just didn't want to do all eight figures in one 
wanted to, you know, split it up into two separate videos there. So I hope you guys don't mind about that. I'd love to know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. And of course, come back tomorrow so we can cover the rest of the set. But overall, I think that this set, I don't know, I had, like unboxing it here, kind of underwhelming, I think. I, I don't know. It, not necessarily that these are rush. It's just kind of the vibe that they give me. And I know we've seen these figures before, so I guess I'm not really overly excited to have repeats of the same figures with updated stuff even though I understand the business model and how it makes a lot of sense I get it I'm not you know I'm not dumb I do understand that I can grasp that I just don't know. I think this is a very underwhelming little little uh, grab here. I don't know. It's just the Road Dog doesn't impress me. The Diesel doesn't impress me. The Billy Gun is okay, I guess. I do like that gear and figure a lot. And then the DEX Sean is a really good figure. I just think that... I don't know if we're going to get these re-releases. I will say one thing, though. One big thing is I do like the accessories. They went overboard with the accessories, which is always nice to see. I don't know. It's just a tough one. I, I really don't know what to think here, man. But I would love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below on all of these. But you can let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout-out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. As always, love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so very much. Always appreciative of you guys. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out. See you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>